when the trucker convoy gets there, I heard it's coming in from the west, the north, um, okay. and the east. Yeah. What you're putting on is a one day event, but do these truckers plan on staying for a couple of days to kind of just, you know, it's a show well, of force and a show of solidarity? So this is what's happening too. And I didn't, I'm only talking about the Texas one because that's my job as a liaison, but there is another portion that's going to Yuma, Arizona, and there's another portion going to San Ysidro, California. So there's three. Takeourborderback.com is the website. You can see all three routes and all three locations. When the trucks get there, each and every one of them, this is what I suggested and, I, and many will do, is to assist local law enforcement and the National Guard in Texas specifically, with any needs that they may have. If they need something moved, we'll move it for you. We'll help you because we're supporting the state of Texas here. And, uh, you know, the, the Yuma portion of it, I can't speak for what they're doing specifically on the ground, but that's the intent. If you're American and you got a truck and you're here, hey, let's help out this situation. So offer that up, get that out there. That's that's really what, what I would propose, but I, I'm not the leader of it, so I can't tell them to do it. But I think that that's, that's in their hearts is to uh, lend assistance while they're there. So each and every one of them will have a different story as to what they can do and what they can't do when they got to get back to work. This is the Today with Tally podcast.